able to feel you've got that full focus on your breath. You can start to control your breath a little bit here. Just breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. Let your breath become longer, slower, deeper. As you inhale, you want to feel that breath go all the way down into your belly. As you exhale, you're going to push it all the way out. Move just with one breath, one movement. When you're ready to start moving, right? Take your knees, hug them into your chest. Maybe just rock back and forth from side to side just a couple times. Look at that side a little bit. And then from there, let your feet come down to the mat. So your feet are on the ground, your knees are up to the sky. You're gonna take your hands to your sides. And we're just gonna do a little gentle bridge flow here, right? So as you inhale, you're gonna lift your hips up off the mat. As you exhale, just let them float down. So they don't have to go super high. You're not holding it super long. You're just waking everything up. Do it two more times. Lift your hips up. Draw them back down. Do it one more time. Lift your hips up. And then draw them back down. Now as your hips come back down here, take your knees, bring them into your chest, and sweep your hands out to the sides so there on that T. And we're going to take one twist each way. So as you exhale, let your knees fall to the right. Take your chin and your gaze to the left. Right, not stay here. Just flowing as you inhale, pull your knees back up to center. And then as you exhale, drop your knees to the left. Look to the right. And bring your knees to center here. And now you're going to take your hands to the crease of your knees. We're going to rock ourselves up. As we rock up, we're just going to land in easy sits. That's that crisscross position. All right? doesn't matter which leg is in front. We're going to do this sequence three times through. So maybe next time you'll switch your legs. Don't worry. I'll remind you. Right now, I just want you to take your hands to your knees, and we're going to do three seated cat cows. So as you inhale, you're going to pull back against your knees, bend your elbows, push them toward your ribs, take your chin up to the sky. That's your seated cow. And then as you exhale, push down into your knees, take your elbows out to the sides, tuck your chin to your chest, and round your back. That's your seated cat. All right, so just keep moving here. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. One more time. Cow. And cat. And this time, as you come out of it, right, you're going to take your legs, unwind them, put them on the ground, and then just take your hands out long, tuck your chin to your chest, round back down to your back, and we're going to do that sequence two more times. So as you get down to your back, right, your feet are on the ground, hands come to your sides, you're going to lift up into bridge, pushing your hips to the sky, Letting them float back down. Maybe each time you do this, your hips can start to go a little higher as your body gets warmer. Lift up, come back down, do it one more time. Lift up, come back down. As they come back down here, now you're going to sweep your arms up to a T. Drop your knees to the right, look to the left. Pull your knees back to center. Drop your knees to the left, look to the right. Bring those knees back to center. Take them all the way into your chest. Rock yourself up to easy sit again. Maybe this time, you put your more awkward leg in front, whether that's your right or your left. Take your hands to your knees to those three seated cat cows. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. One more time, cow. 
and cat. And then as you come back up, now you're gonna unwind your legs. Just put your feet on the ground, take your arms out long, tuck your chin to your chest, round it all the way back down to the mat. All right, so we're doing that sequence one more time through. Inhale, lift up, bridge. Exhale, drop down. Two more times, lift up, drop your hips back down. Last one, lift your hips up, drop them back down. Take your knees into your chest, take your hands out to a T. Drop your knees to the right as you look to the left. Pull your knees back to center, drop your knees to the left as you look to the right. Pull back to center. And then from there, you take your hands to the crease of your knees, rock yourself up one more time, right? Your choice. You can have that awkward leg in front or put that more comfortable leg back in front. Take your hands to your knees, three seated cat cows right here. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Last one. Inhale, cow. Exhale, to cat. And then we come up tall here. Right now from here, you're going to bring yourself around into tabletop, right? Maybe you can just roll right over your knees. Maybe you're going to unwind your legs. But coming into a tabletop, don't worry, we're not going to stay here in tabletop because right, we're just gonna come up to down dog, but I want you to set it up first. It makes it easier to get into your down dog when you bring those hands shoulder width distance apart with your shoulders right over your wrists, your knees hip width distance apart with your hips right over your knees. All right, once you get there, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up and back, back into our down dog. <laughs> I should say back, right? This is our first time in down dog today. So because it's your first time, maybe you add a little movement here. You can bend one knee. Then the other, call that walking dog. So your arms are heel towards the ground, feeling that nice stretch in your calves as you do that. Maybe you sway your hips from side to side, maybe you're just staying still. And just take the time here, check in with your body, notice what's going on. Make sure you're listening to your body as we go through the rest of practice. All right, settle back into your regular down dog here. And then we're gonna bend our knees, look between the thumbs, just bring the feet forward to the hands. You're coming into forward fold. So now your belly's touching your upper thighs, your head's hanging heavy and long. Bend your knees as much as you need to to get your belly to touch your upper thighs. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. Make sure there's no creases in the back of your neck. Now from here, we're gonna take a half lift into monkey. You're gonna pull your shoulders even with your hips. Your back is nice and flat. Crown your head is towards the front of the room. As you exhale, come back down and a forward fold. This time as we inhale, big reverse swan dive, come all the way up to stand here. I'm gonna step back a little bit just so you can see me. All right, from here, we're gonna take some side bends. So basic side bends at first. Just grab your left wrist with your right hand and pull to the right. Let that left side body open. Come back to center, switch it out, grab your right wrist with your left hand and pull to the left. Come back up to center here. Now we're gonna take some twists here. You're gonna take your right hand, let it wrap all the way around behind your back. And then drop your left hand down. Your left hand's gonna come just outside your right hip, right? So it's coming across your body. And then push your left hip forward, draw your right hip back, so you're twisting towards the right side of the room. There we go, it all look good. All right, untwist here, take your hands up to the sky. Now let's do that the other way. So you're gonna take your left hand, wrap it around behind your back. Your right hand comes to the left hip across your body and then push your right hip forward, draw your left hip back, twist to the left. Come back around here, take both arms up overhead, and then you're just gonna drop into cactus arms, bending the elbows, bringing them even with your shoulders, and then lean into your back bend, push your hips forward, chest and knees up. Inhale, come up tall, bring your arms overhead, and then as you exhale here, it's like you're diving into a pool. Just come back down to forward fold. All right, so that's our sun salutation for today. We're gonna do that two more times through. Now that you've seen it once, we're gonna move a little faster. We're gonna move with our breath. So inhale, half lift monkey. Exhale, hold back down. Inhale, reverse swan dive, bring it all the way up. Grab your left wrist with your right hand, pull to the right. Come back to center, switch out, pull to the left. Come back to center, wrap your right hand around your back, left hand to the right hip, twist to the right. And twist to bring your hands overhead, then go the other way. Left hand behind the back, right hand to the left hip, twist to the left. 
uh, and twist, hands overhead. And this time as you exhale, cactus arms, inhale, open up with the chest, exhale, back bend, inhale, come up tall, reach your arms overhead, exhale, dive into the pool, come back to forward fold. So let's do that one more time. Inhale, half lift monkey. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, the first swan dive, come all the way up. Grab your left wrist, your right hand, pull to the right. Come back to center, switch your hands, pull to the left. Come back to center. Now we're gonna twist, right hand wraps behind you, left hand comes to your right waist, twist right. And twist, go the other way. Left hand wraps behind you, right hand comes to your left hip, twist left. And twist, both arms overhead. Exhale, those cactus arms. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, we back bend. Inhale, come up tall, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, dive into the pool, come back to forward fold. Take a breath or two right there. Hopefully, you're getting a little deeper into the forward fold than you did the first time we were here. Take a half lift to monkey, pulling your shoulders even with your hips. All right, and then you're gonna fold back down. And as you fold back down, keep your right foot forward. Step your left foot back behind you. Right foot's forward, left foot way back. So I'm in runner's lunge. Right knee right over the right ankle, left leg nice and long. Now, you're not gonna, you're gonna stay low with your torso at the beginning. You're gonna drop your left heel, right? So that you're, Left heel kind of comes in and your left toes kind of go out, right? So you want to end up in a diagonal with those left toes. You're going to keep the bend in your right knee, start to bend into your left knee, right? And then turn your right toes so that your toes are out and your heels are in. Now you're just going to pick up your upper body and come right into goddess. So you should be facing here towards the left side of the room. Knees bent, heels in, toes out, right? Back with those cactus arms. Sink really low here. Maybe pulse a little bit, bounce up and down. Right now, come to a stop nice and low in your goddess. Bring your hands to heart center. Then from there, push your left leg all the way straight and just tap your right elbow to your right knee. And then go the other way. Push your right leg straight, bend into your left knee, tap your left, tap your left elbow with your left knee. One more time, you're gonna push that left leg straight. Bend your right knee, tap your right elbow with your right knee. Now drop your hands down inside your right foot. And we're gonna walk it back around into runner's lunge. So come to the front. Come to the front of the room. <laughs> there. All right, now you're here in the front of the room. You're gonna drop that back heel. We're just gonna come up into warrior one. So you're just peeling that upper body up. Right, square your hips towards the top of your mat. Hands up to the sky, put that left heel down. Left toes are pointed towards the left side of the room. Now, think about keeping that deep, deep bend in the right knee. You're just gonna lay your hips turn towards the front of the room. And then take your arms out long. So you're reaching your right hand right over your right knee. Left hand's going back behind you, so we're right in warrior two. So your hips squared towards the left side of the room. Your gaze is gonna go towards the front of the room. So you're looking right over the middle finger on your right hand. Now we're gonna to come to a pose here. We don't usually do it. It's called the Exalted Warrior, right? So you're gonna straighten out your right leg. And then you're gonna take that right hand, wrap it behind your back, right? Take that left hand, drop it down, and then sweep it all the way up to the sky. Look up at your left fingertips and lean your torso back as much as you can. There we go. And then from there, you're gonna bend back into your right knee. Drop your left hand all the way down inside the left knee, bend your right knee, drop your left hand down all the way inside the right foot, and then unwrap your right hand, take it up to the sky. So we're just in a basic twisted lunge here. <laughs> now push away from the mat with your left hand, let it cartwheel around. Now we're just coming into a regular reverse square, right? So you're taking it, sweeping it back, letting that left hand come along your left thigh, sweeping that right hand up <laughs> and over. So just in reverse square, just bring the reverse square. Okay, deep bend in the right knee. Reach the right hand up, left hand's along your left thigh. You can wrap it behind your back if you want to. 
You're going to go the other way, Shocker. <laughs> so we're going to space on the quarter. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now I got you all on the same page. <laughs> Nothing tricky here. All right, now you're just going to take that right hand, that's the one that's up and reaching back. Just drop it down to your right knee. Okay, peel that left shoulder up. So you're here in that side angle, trying to open up your chest towards the left side of the room. You can let that right hand come all the way to the floor. If you can do that without your chest caving, you can keep your elbow on your knee if you want to. If it feels okay, unwrap that left hand and take it up to the sky. Maybe reach it towards the front of the room, bringing it right over your right bicep. Right bicep up right over the right ear. All right, now from here, we're gonna come up, right? As you come up, you're gonna push that right leg all the way straight. Let your hips square towards the front of the room. Take both hands, bring them back behind you and interlace them behind your back. Right? So you've got those hands interlaced behind your back. Your hips are square towards the front of the room. Right? Lean back, push your knuckles towards the floor. And then from there, we're gonna come all the way down into Humble Warrior. So you're gonna bend into your right knee. Start to bow forward, bringing your right shoulder towards the inside of your right knee. Maybe you can get all the way there. Maybe your right shoulder's hovering somewhere above your right knee. That's okay. Don't rest it on your right knee. Now, release your hands here. They're going to come on either side of your right foot so they give you a little stability, right? Look towards the front of the room. You're going to step forward with that left foot, and you're just going to drop that left foot next to the right with both knees bent, and then you're going to come up in your chair. Just bend your knees more deeply, send your hips back and down. Totally off the camera, that's okay. All right, so we're here on our basic chair. Hands will be reaching forward, hands will be at heart center, hands will be reaching up to the sky. Now from chair, you're gonna straighten out both legs. Drop your hands down to the mat. So you're back here in forward fold. Now, step back with both feet, right, one at a time. And then you're gonna get yourself, so we're basically in plank right now, you're gonna get yourself all the way down to your belly. However you want that to happen. You can drop to your knees, you can do a full chaturanga, right? But you're coming all the way down. Now, as we come down here, your choice, right? You can sweep your hands back behind you, palms face up, lift your head and shoulders, right? And then maybe lift your feet so that you're on locust. Maybe, right, you want to bend your knees, bring your heels toward your glutes, and then grab one ankle, then the other in full bow. So if I'm in full bow, just like this. I'm the locust, my legs are extended, and I'm just reaching back behind me with my hands. Either way, head and shoulders off the mat in the stack bend. All right, you guys all look good here. Release your legs if you have them. All right, bring your hands to your chest, and just push yourself back into child's pose. Right. All right, now we're gonna do all that again on the other side. So bring it up to tabletop, right? Just into that hands and knees pose. Flip this way so I end up facing the right way. All right, and then tuck your toes under. Lift your hips up and back. Come into down dog. And then from down dog, you're gonna bend your knees and look between your thumbs, bring your feet forward your hands, bring it into your forward fold. Take a half lift to monkey. Fold back down, keep your left foot forward. Step your right foot way back behind you, coming into our runner's lunge on this side. Now drop that right heel to the ground, right? And then turn it so that your heel's coming towards your body and your toes are going away from your body, right? And then start to bend into that right knee while keeping that bend in the left knee. You're gonna angle your left toes now so that they come out to a diagonal. They're pointing towards the right front corner of your mat. Right, and then you're gonna peel all the way up, bend your knees, drop your hips, practice arms. So you ended up here in this goddess. Okay, good, that's what we this time. Sink a little bit lower, maybe bounce a couple times like we did before. Keep yourself as low into your goddess as you possibly can. All right, and then from there, bring your hands to heart center. Push into your left leg, so your left leg straightens, and you're gonna tap, all right, I did that backwards, it's okay, we'll do it one more. Tap your right elbow to your right knee, right? Now push your right leg all the way straight, bend into your left knee, tap your left elbow to your left knee. Push your left leg all the way straight, tap to your right knee, 
And then we get to do an extra time here. You're going to push into that right leg, bend into your left knee, tap your left elbow to your left knee. Then you're going to drop your hands down inside your left foot and just walk it back around to your runner's lunge at the top of your mat. All right, keep that right heel down and then let yourself peel up into warrior one. So you're square your hips towards the top of your mat, you're reaching your hands up to the sky. Deep, deep bend that left knee. Keep the bend in your left knee. Let your hips turn towards the right long edge of your mat and then take your arms so that your right hand is reaching back behind you, your left hand's reaching right over your left knee. You're taking your chin, your gaze towards your left fingertips. You're looking towards the front of the room. Sending that left knee towards the pinky toe side of the foot. Right now from here, we're gonna to come to that exalted warrior, right? So you're gonna push your left leg all the way straight. Take your left hand, wrap it behind your back. And let your right arm drop towards the floor, but then sweep it all the way up. So it's reaching up to the ceiling. And then you're just gonna lean back here. Really reach those right fingertips towards the back of the room. And make sure I remember what comes next. All right, then from there, you're gonna take that right hand, you're gonna bring it all the way down inside your left foot. Your left knee's gonna bend, right? Drop that right hand inside your left foot. Take your right, or your left hand out, unwrap it, reach up towards the sky, so you're in this twisted lunge, you're towards the ball wall. Now from here, this is where we come, just to reverse warrior, right? Suppose you've done a million times. Push away from that with that right hand. Let it rainbow around so it comes along your right thigh. And then just scoop that left hand up and over. There you go. Everybody's on the same page this time. That's what I like to see. <laughs> All right, so deep, deep bend in that left knee, sending the left knee towards the pinky toe side of the foot. You can wrap your right hand around your back if you want to. You can look up at your left fingertips or you can look back over your right shoulder, right? But you're keeping that deep bend in your left knee. Use that bend in the left knee next. You're just gonna drop your left elbow to your left thigh. Take your right hand, sweep it up to the sky. And then maybe you're taking those right fingertips and reaching them towards the front of the room. Maybe you're taking that left hand, sweeping it down towards the floor, but keep your chest up and open. All right, now from here, we're gonna come back up. Right, you're gonna rise up, let your left leg straighten, pull your torso up, both hands are gonna come back behind you and interlace behind your back. So square your hips towards the top of your mat, towards your left leg, right? Push your knuckles towards the floor, pull your shoulder blades together, lean back. And then from there, now you're gonna bend back into your left knee and you're gonna keep this hands interlaced, tie your torso all the way down so that your left shoulder is coming towards the inside of your left knee. If you get it all the way inside the left knee, that's great. If it's just hovering over your left knee, that's great. Maybe your hands can reach up and off your low back here. See how that feels. All right, now you're gonna release your hands, put them on either side of your left foot, turn yourself back, square your hips towards the top of your mat because you're gonna step into chair feet, right? So keep that bend in the left knee. You just step the right foot forward, bend into the right knee, and then peel up right into your chair. Now you can perfect it. Once you get up, make sure that you can look down, see your toes, wiggle your toes. The weight's all back in your heels, so you can wiggle your toes. Your hips are front and back, your knees aren't covering your toes. Your hands can be heart center, hands can be reaching forward, hands can be to the sky. All right, last thing here, we're gonna take our back bend, right? So you're gonna straighten out your legs. Drop your hands to the mat. So you're here in that forward fold. Step back into plank. And then bring yourself down to your belly, right? So you can drop your knees, you can go belly first, right? Or you can bend your elbows, bring it all the way down. As you come down, now you decide here, right? Maybe your hands are just gonna reach straight back behind you, peel up into your locust. Maybe you're gonna bend into your feet and grab on to your ankles, pull up into bed. Right? Take two breaths here, wherever you are. And then release those feet. Take your hands by your chest. Push yourself up 
into tabletop. As we get up to tabletop, now you're gonna tuck your toes under, lift your hips up and back, come through your down dog, and then walk it forward and a forward fold. Now as we get to forward fold, toe your feet out wide to the edges of your mat. All right, turn your heels in, turn your toes out, and then bend with your knees. Drop your hips, come down into your Mwasa squat. If you use a block here, I actually a non-black one today so you guys can actually see, right? If we drop down, maybe right here. Sitting on your block, if that makes it feel better, do that, right? If it feels okay to you without the block, don't use the block. If you wanna drop all the way down to your glutes and bring the soles of your feet together and mount an ankle, go there. You decide. Here you are. Just take a couple breaths, noticing your breath, right? Do you still have that full focus on your breath? Do you still have full control of your breath? If you lost either of those things, this is your chance to get it back. Slow your breaths again, lengthen your breaths again, deepen your breaths again. Two more breaths here. All right, and now we're gonna come from our squat or bound ankle, right? You're gonna come into tabletop. We're gonna do our core work from here. Now, we're doing fairly simple things today, but we're gonna hold them for a little bit longer. All right, I'm gonna turn to the side here so you guys can see hopefully this will work. Maybe get it angled, there we go, that's good. All right, so what you're gonna do here, take your right leg, extend it long behind you, right? Toes press into the mat, then lift that right leg to hip level. Once you've got that right leg at hip level, take your left hand, reach it forward, right? So you're gonna smile balance. I just want you to hold here in spinal balance for five breaths. So you're pushing away from the mat with that right hand. So you're not dumping in to your right shoulder. You're using core to hold yourself up. It's like somebody grabbed a hold of your left wrist and your right ankle. They're pulling you in opposite directions. You take two more breaths here. And then drop that left hand down, drop that right knee down, come back into your tabletop. Let's try that on the other side. So you're gonna take your left leg, extend it long, lift it to hip level, take your right hand, reach it forward. Okay. You want that belly to be nice and tight, right? So take that belly button, pull it to the spine like if I reach under there and punched you in the stomach, it wouldn't hurt because everything's nice and tight and hard, right? That's where you wanna be is totally working to hold you up and you're pushing away from that with that left hand right don't bend into your left elbow that i'm just using my left shoulder you can push up and away keep the left shoulder right over the left wrist take two more breaths here and then drop it all down right hand left knee come back to tabletop all right so we're going to do that again on the right side we're gonna add on a little bit. So this time, you're gonna take your right leg out long, lift it up to hip level, take your left hand, reach it forward. Now, as you get here, this time, you're gonna bend into your right knee, right? So bring that right heel towards the right glute. Take that left hand, reach it back behind you. Maybe you're just reaching back behind you like this. If you can, grab a hold of that right ankle with your left hand, really lift that right knee up high, push away from that with that left hand, push your chest forward, take your chin up so it's like a little back bend. You take three more breaths here. If you're not reaching your foot, it's okay. You're still doing all those things, right? Kicking that right knee up high, 
pushing your left hand away from the floor, lifting your chest. One more breath. And you're gonna release, go back through spinal balance, right? So extend your right leg, extend your left arm, then drop it all down. All right, let's do that one more time on the left side. So now you're gonna take your left leg, extend it long, lift it to hip level, take your right arm, reach it out. This time, right, we bend to the left knee, bring the left heel towards the left glute, sweep the right hand back behind you. Maybe it's just reaching, maybe you can grab a hold of that right foot, the left foot, sorry, with the right hand. But you lift that left knee high, push your chest forward, look up. Three more breaths here. And then release, take it back through spinal balance, so extend your left leg, extend your right arm, then drop them all down into tabletop. All right, we got one more to do here with our spinal balance. All right, so you're gonna take your right leg, extend it long, all right, lift it up to hip, hip level, take your left arm, reach it out. Now what we're gonna do from here, you're gonna take that left arm, sweep it out to the left, take your right foot, kick it to the right. So you're trying to keep that right shoulder over the right wrist, that left hip over the left knee. It's called awkward pose. Takes all of your core strength to keep yourself in this position. Two more breaths here. Now bring it back through spinal balance and drop it all down to tabletop. All right, we're gonna do that one more time on the left side. So take your left leg, extend it long, lift it to hip level, take your right arm, reach it forward. Once you get to spinal balance, you take that right arm, sweep it out to the right, take your left foot, kick it to the left. Now you can't see my foot on camera here, but it's kicking, right? I've got my left shoulder over my left wrist. My right hip still over my right knee. So everything's square, just sweeping out that leg and that arm. Making those obliques work, making every part of your core work. Two more breaths here. Now bring it all back to spinal balance and then drop it all down into tabletop. Now let your hips come back over your heels, reach your arms out long, get off your wrists. Maybe roll them around a little bit as you're there in child's pose. Now when you're ready, we're gonna come back into tabletop, right? And we're gonna do our stretches here. Yeah, this will do. All right, so I'm gonna get my right foot between my hands, right? So maybe you can curl that knee into the chest and set your foot down and you're there, right? Maybe you take that right leg out to the side, wrap your hand around your back, and then work that right knee around, right? Either way, you wanna get that right knee over the right ankle, hands on either side of the right knee. Now you want that left knee to come back behind your left hip. So you might have to tuck your left toes under. Move that left knee back a little bit. All right, eventually you get there. Now, you're gonna let your hands come to the inside of your right foot. All right, so we're right here. Now, from here, take your right toes. I want you to turn your right toes. I'm trying to move my hands out of the way just so you can see. All right, turn your right toes all the way out to the right. All right. And then start to walk your hands maybe a little bit forward in front of your right toes. It's a variation on dragging, right? If you want to just do it as regular dragging, you can. If you want to drop down to your elbows, you can. Three more breaths here. hands back in towards the right foot. I'm going to turn those right toes back towards the front of the room, right? Now you're going to move 
your right hand back outside your right knee. All right, so your hands on either side of your right foot. And then start to walk your right foot over. Now you're trying to get those right toes to come behind the left wrist. All right, and then once you're there, you're gonna lean way over to the right, let your right knee come down to the mat. All right, so we're coming into pigeon here. All right, so get that right knee down. Now, to come into full pigeon, right? See how I'm kind of opened up with my left hip pointed forward, right? I want my left hip to point towards my right heel in a full pigeon. So I'm gonna lift my right hip up off the mat and push that left hip down. I you can't see me all that well, right? So there, and then from there, you push up into your palms, then you let yourself come, maybe down to your forearms, then you walk it all the way forward, let your head come to the mat. Now, if pigeon isn't for you, you can always drop, or keep that right hip drop all the way to the ground. When we come here, you just pull that left knee in against the sole of the right foot, and then you fold over your right shin here in a deer pose. So pigeon or deer, right? Whatever feels good to you. Whether you're in pigeon or deer, and it can be on your palms, you can be on your forearms, or you can bring your chest and head all the way down to the mat. I want you to just get that sensation in the right hip. Take four more breaths here. Out of this, we're going to come back up to our palms. All right, now you want to bring yourself back into tabletop. So I'm going to tuck my left toes under, let that left knee just kind of crawl forward until I can slide that right leg back, or the right toes back behind the left knee and get it all back into tabletop. Right, you have to arrange like I just did. Now, once you're here in tabletop, just take your right leg, extend it long behind you. Right, I'll pretend like I'm this way. You want to let those right toes just press into the mat right, with your heel lifted so you get that blood flow back through the right leg and then from there just let that right leg come down now we're going to do all that the other way so this time you got to bring your left knee between your hands so again maybe you can curl that knee into your chest just take a step if that works for you go for it otherwise take that left leg out to the side wrap your left hand around your back and then walk those left toes over till next to, till they're next to your right hand. Take that left hand down. Now again, just like before, we want that left or that right knee, sorry, back behind the right hip. I'm going to tuck my right toes under so I can move it back a little bit. Right now, once you're there, you're going to bring both hands to the inside of your left foot. Right, and then turn those left toes all the way out to the left as much as you can. So my knee came open, and then from there, I'm going to walk my hands forward. Maybe it's here. Maybe you come all the way down to your elbows. It's here. If you hate this, right, you can turn it into a full dragon. Just keep your left toes pointed forward. Squeeze your left knee in against your left shoulder and squeeze your left shoulder against your left knee. Right, so there's places to go here. If you turn those toes out, you're going to get it a little bit more in your inner thighs and your hip flexors. Take four more breaths here. From there, you're gonna bring it back up to your palms, All right? Now, you're gonna turn those left toes back forward, bring your left hand back outside your left knee. All right, so now you're gonna walk those left toes over till they're just behind your right wrist. And then from there, right, let your left knee come all the way down to the mat. Now, as we're here, right, I'm moving my hands out of the way so you can see, right? Maybe you're here, you let that left knee, or left hip come all the way down and you just pull that right knee in against the left foot, bring your hands in front of your left shin, fold it forward here into your deer. Maybe you pick that left foot up off the mat and then you take that right hip, press it toward your left heel and then walk 
it out here. And again, you can stay up on your palms on either of these. You can be down on your forearms on either of these. You can take your head and chest down the mat. You can do these depending on what your body is capable of and what feels good to you. You just want to get that deep, deep sensation in the left hip. Two more breaths here. And then bring it back up to your palms. Tuck your toes under. You're gonna move that left knee forward, or sorry, right knee forward, right? So that you can slide those left toes around and we wanna come back into tabletop here. Once you get back into tabletop, just take that left leg and extend it long. Press your heels toward the back wall. Press your toes into the mat so you feel that hip and that knee open back up all right drop it back down into tabletop here you're gonna let your hips fall to one side or the other and then just swing your legs around in front of you now we're just going to come into a basic half butterfly forward fold on each side here so you're going to kick your left leg or sorry your right leg out long first right bring the sole of your left foot against your right inner thigh and then turn yourself towards that right leg Take your hands up to the sky, make that C curve with your spine as you reach towards your toes. Maybe you grab them, right? maybe your hands just land on your ankle or your shin or your knee, wherever you ended up, it's good. Right? You wanna keep that back nice and flat. So don't tuck your chin to your chest, don't try to get your head down to your leg. Right? Just bring your chest as far forward as you can. You feel this is a nice stretch in your right hamstring. Feel that slight. Stretch in your low back as you make the twist towards your right leg. Let's take three more breaths here. And just let yourself peel all the way up. Let's switch out and do the other side. So take your left leg, extend it long. Take your right foot, put it against the sole, put the sole of your right foot against your left inner thigh. Turn your torso towards your left leg. Take your hands up to the sky. Make that C curve with your spine as you reach towards your left foot. Again, if you grab it, that's great. If your hands are on your ankle or your shin or your knee, that's fine. Crown of your head should be somewhere in between, straight towards the mirrors and straight up towards the ceiling. Right? You don't want the crown of your head pointed towards your leg. Tuck, tuck your chin to your chest. Okay, don't round your back, just bring your chest forward. That's gonna get you what you want out of the stretch. slowly peel it all the way up here all right now we're gonna bring our knees our feet to the ground knees to the sky and we're gonna roll all the way onto our back 
go through our inversions from here. So once you're down on your back, right, we're gonna go back into that bridge. We did it at the beginning of class. Walk your heels as close or close as you can get them. Let your hands come to your sides. Push your feet into the mat, lift your hips up to the sky. You should be able to go up higher now, maybe than you did at the beginning of class. Nice and warm. Now, now you can stay right here if you wanna take a block and slide it under your hips. Use the leverage that block to push your hips a little higher. You can, right? Otherwise, you're using the strength in your legs. You engage your quads, engage your glutes. Using those strong, strong legs to push your hips a little lot higher so you can increase the flexibility of your back. Either way, whichever version of the pose you're in, you tuck your shoulders at least slightly so your chest puffs open. If you're unsupported and you want to make it really deep, work one entire shoulder, then the other underneath your body and push your hips up even higher. Three more breaths here. And then as you exhale here, let your hips float back down to the mat if you're unsupported, right? If you're in supported bridge, you want to keep a block under your hips for a waterfall, the next pose, then keep the block there. If you want to take it out, take it out. If you want to add a block under your hips for waterfall, you can, right? In waterfall, we take our feet straight up to the sky. Flex your feet like you're going to step against the ceiling. Soles your feet up towards the ceiling. So what we're doing here, we're getting that blood to go from the feet where it pools all day back to our head and our heart where we need it more. So it's good for us. If you want to make it a supported waterfall like I talked about with that block, it just means you've made it slightly more intense because you've got your hips slightly elevated. If you want to make it a lot more intense, you have the option to come to full shoulder stand. That's where you lift your hips up on your own, put your hands in the small of your back, so you're supporting yourself on your shoulders and your forearms. Right, so you can be in shoulder stand, you can be in supported waterfall, you can be in regular waterfall. We're all getting those great inversion benefits, that naturally lower blood pressure that I talked about, that increased circulation. We're flooding the body with all sorts of anti-aging, anti-stress hormones. That when we're ready to come out of this, we're all gonna come out of it the same way. Bend your knees, let them scrape right along your face and body. Slowly drop your feet back down to the mat. Now if you still have that block under your hips, right, you're gonna pull that block out from under your here. Let your hips come flat to the mat. So everybody's hips are flat on the ground. We're gonna come into our happy baby. Your feet go up again, right? Maybe not all the way up this time, they might be more angled, and that's okay, because we're trying to keep this safe from the low part of our back on the ground. You're gonna separate your feet, and maybe it's a big separation. Maybe it's a slight separation, right? Bend your knees, maybe a little bit, maybe a lot. Reach up for your same foot with your same hand. And then you're gonna roll forward slightly. If the sacrum really presses into the mat, you can add that rock from side to side. It should feel good. If it doesn't, right, then you can stay still. Change your leg position, make your legs wider, straighter, bend more, butt in more, and do that. Right? Find some more, it feels really amazing to you. A couple more breaths. Now from here, take your knees, hook them all the way into your chest. And let's finish off with that. Final twist, let your arms go out long, like wings, that T position. And we did these twists at the beginning, but now we get to stay longer. Let your knees drop to the right, take your chin and your gaze over your left shoulder. You can take your right hand and press those knees closer to the earth, or you can extend your legs toward your right fingertips. Or you can stay here where you are. Just try to keep that left shoulder anchored. That's what's gonna give you the twist. Pull your knees back to center. And then as you exhale, let your knees go over to the left. Take your chin and your gaze to the right. 
Same thing here, right? You can press down on the knees with your left hand, or you can extend your legs, your toes go towards your left fingertips, or just stay where you are. Keep that right shoulder anchored. We always finish off with this twist because it seals up our practice, lets our bodies remember everything that happened today. So next time we come practice yoga, it's all a little easier. We go everywhere a little bit deeper. On your next inhale, bring your knees back to center. Give them one final hug into your chest. And let's set up for our final pose here, our Shavasana. In your traditional Shavasana, you're flat on your back. Legs extend long, hands are at your sides. Now, if that's not comfortable to you, don't stay there. Right? You can always bend your knees, let them fall in against each other, or butterfly your legs, or you can roll to your belly or roll to your side. Just find somewhere to be where you're perfectly comfortable, where you're gonna be able to stay perfectly still, most importantly, you want to be somewhere where your mind is going to be able to go perfectly quiet. Now, if you're here in the studio, come around with a little uh, sandboard citrus for your towel to sandboard to relax you. Citrus to keep you slightly energized. If you're at home, if you've got a towel, put it over your eyes. If you don't, just close your eyes. to that place where you're going to be able to let your mind go perfectly quiet. Let your breath take you there. You don't have to control your breath anymore. Just notice your breath. Observe your breath. Your breath will begin to guide you can take you right to that place where there's nothing left in your mind but you and your breath. When you get there, that's your true quiet of the mind. Now slowly start to come back into the room, wiggle your fingers, your toes, feeling that increased sensation that comes with a quiet mind. If you want to here, take your arms overhead for a nice full deep body stretch. Okay, just roll over onto your right side in the fetal position. Take a couple breaths right there just to reacclimate to our space, let the sights, the sounds of the room come back to you. Take as long as you need right here. When you're ready, only when you're ready, push yourself up to seated and leave a close here.
So let's close with our tube of Mario breaths and then an ohm. The Mario breath, we're gonna inhale as we exhale, make that little humming sound in the back of the throat. And the ohm is the universal syllable, uses all parts of the throat. You can join me in these breaths or you can just listen. But let's close our eyes here. We'll inhale together. Hmm. Inhaling again. And then we'll inhale one final time and oh. Oh. Let your eyes drift open. Bring your hands to our center. Thank you, all of you, for sharing your energy, your practice with me this morning. The light in me honors the light in each of you. Namaste. Namaste. All right, I will see you guys on Wednesday night for some yin. Um, tomorrow morning, Liza will be here for her payo. If you need more gentle, Heidi's here tomorrow night at seven with more gentle. All right, I hope you have the great, a great rest of your weekend.